Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Carrying a camera with me everywhere I go for over half of my lifetime at this point, I've made a lot of just really bad and uninspiring photos. I made a lot of those photos in the beginning and I still make a lot of those photos today. I like to think I make more good photos now than I did back at the beginning, but still. Making a bunch of just mediocre photos with a few good ones sprinkled in there from time to time and not really having a, any sort of like strategy or plan or big picture of what I wanted to do with my job or my career uh, just sort of chasing photography and enjoying my time with photography and all of the different ways it's looked. That's kind of how it's been uh, really since the beginning. And so by doing that, by just chasing my passion for photography and enjoying my time with photography, my job has evolved over the years and morphed into what it is now, which is this really mixed bag with YouTube and sharing my personal photos through videos, but also talking about some gear and, and photographers I admire and even self-publishing my own photo book that went all over the world the last year or two have been full of just incredible opportunities and things that I never expected I would be able to do, especially just in a small town in Southern Ohio. It's felt like without any sort of strategy or plan, things have just sort of worked out for me and fallen into my lap as they are now. And I am a total fraud because of it. I don't deserve the spot that I'm in, the recognition, or the success that I get. That is what imposter syndrome tells me at least every day. Uh, or rather, it sort of screams that at me through a megaphone. According to Webster's Dictionary, imposter syndrome is a psychological condition that is characterized by persistent doubt concerning one's abilities or accomplishments accompanied by the fear of being exposed as a fraud despite evidence of one's ongoing success. And like I said, over the last year or so, I've had incredible opportunities and things that I've been able to work on and do that I never would have dreamed I would be able to do. And this is obviously an amazing thing. I am so thankful for the opportunities that I've had and more importantly, what those opportunities have done for me and my family. But with some of those dream moments and opportunities came a crippling level of self-doubt and anxiety. Really, it was imposter syndrome at the absolute highest level that I've ever experienced it. I've struggled with anxiety for the majority of my life, and I've had my bouts with depression and OCD sprinkled in there just to keep things spicy. So a healthy dose of self-doubt is definitely nothing new for me, but I had never experienced it like this. With any opportunity, any bit of success, I was always right there in my own head, reminding myself that I should be thanking the lucky stars out there that I even found myself in that opportunity or that position, because I definitely didn't earn my spot to be there, I just somehow tricked people into putting me there or I weaseled my way in there. And I say this being 100% serious, this was an actual real thought I had at one point. When my book was up for pre-order last fall and as it was selling, it was selling far more than I really expected it to and I immediately had this thought of, well, people are probably just buying this book sort of like ironically. Like you wouldn't actually buy this book to own it because you want to buy it. There's gotta be some sort of inside joke going on. Like it's funny to buy this book because why else would anyone buy my book? Even in the spring when the book was finished and I was in Minneapolis packing and shipping the book, I had these thoughts in my head like, you know, I was, I was putting labels on all these boxes and they were going all over the world and I had a real thought in my head like, what if someone bought a copy of this book just to point out to everyone that none of the photos are good, that I am a very bad photographer, that I don't deserve any bit of success or recognition or opportunity that I get. Like they were gonna show the entire world that I was just a fraud and you know, basically, well, my time's up. This is nothing new or foreign or really that out of the ordinary for me to think about stuff like that in my own head. And so you might be wondering, how do I kind of work against this, you know, and you're probably expecting me to give you that sort of delivery of this is how I deal with imposter syndrome or how I use it to my advantage to give me that edge that I need. But I don't have any of those answers at all. Um, I'm not here to give you advice on how to be imposter syndrome or how I work against it because I mean, as I'm filming this video right now, I'm in my own head telling myself to shut up and to just turn off the camera because why would anyone care to hear about this sort of thing? But that's sort of the whole point 
that I'm making this video. I want people to see that I don't have the answers for something like this, but it is something that I experience. I'm sure a lot of other photographers or content creators really in any kind of position. If you're progressing in your career, I think it's really easy to kind of get in your own head, especially if you're doing things that you never anticipated or really thought you could do. Last week, I experienced this pretty much all week long. Um, Niles from Moment, he flew into Chillicothe and we filmed for a couple of days for this new Moment lesson, which I'll have more details and information on that soon. Uh, it was super fun. I was really thankful to be there and to be doing what I was doing. But the entire time in my head, I had that thought of, you know, no matter what I was saying, if I was trying to give information, you know, like technical information or more just sort of the why and like the passion behind doing what I do, I still had these thoughts of like, why am I even here in the first place? How, what, what did I do to be any sort of person that people would go to for, for that sort of thing? And then the following day, after we filmed that lesson, I did a Leica Conversations over on Leica Camera USA's YouTube channel. It was amazing. I was insanely honored to be there. It was something I never expected that I would be doing. But in my head, I was just thinking about that one particular perspective that in my head, everyone has. And that's someone watching that video thinking, why is this person here? What did they do to deserve this kind of thing? Because it's something I truly never thought I would be doing. And it's not like it was this crazy thing. It was just a simple conversation on Leica's YouTube channel. So it wasn't like I was being inducted in some hall of fame or anything like that but that kind of thing even just a simple conversation like that to me that seemed just completely out of this world like why would i ever be in a position to do something like that so i don't have the answers to give you on how to beat imposter syndrome it's something i've dealt with for years and it's something i obviously still continue to struggle with today uh, luckily i have someone like my wife who's there to remind me of basically all of the things that i can never seem to remember especially on those rough days rather than telling myself that i never had a plan or strategy and that this all just fell into my lap like i mentioned at the start of this video that's typically how i view it in my head I never seem to remember all of the hours and days and just years that I spent learning photography and trying to make this into some sort of career no matter what it looked like. Working for practically nothing for years just to get that experience and build a portfolio for my local community. Never having a weekend off and turning down hanging out with friends all of the time because I felt like I needed to take any possible job that I could in order to just make ends meet. Shooting plenty of the stuff that, you know, the photo influencers today would definitely be way too cool to shoot. Uh, it wasn't this glamorous lifestyle for years, it was just a lot of work. But it was something that I truly just felt like I needed to do because I wanted to make photography a career for me. I didn't want to do anything else. I had to make this work. And then obviously as years went on and things changed, I started to kind of shift a little bit. Starting my YouTube channel and my Instagram account at zero like everyone else, but just putting my personal work out there and trying to put good information out there, you know? Never really thinking it would go anywhere, but it was just sort of an outlet for me because it was personal work and things that I was genuinely interested in outside of you know my paid work the kind of stuff i was shooting whether it be weddings local music that sort of thing filming myself editing myself like that sort of thing has never been easy for me i think most people that you know knew me before i did this sort of thing they would have never assumed i would ever be in front of a camera talking to it like i am right now i've always preferred to stay behind the camera but this was just an opportunity for me to just share the passion and somehow over the years, it's grown and evolved into what it is now. So while it's never felt like I've had a strategy or a plan, and sometimes it feels like things just fell into my lap because I've just been playing with my cameras all these years, uh, it's definitely been a lot of work and trying to keep that kind of stuff in mind is really just the only way I try to keep myself in check because if I didn't at least consider that, I would think I'm a fraud and undeserving of really anything. When you love doing something as much as I love photography, it doesn't always feel like work every single day. And so when you have opportunities like that, but you don't feel like you've been working that much or that you've worked that hard, it can really get into your head. I mean, the second anybody tells me that they love my work, work, I'm instantly in my head thinking, well, I can name a thousand other photographers that are much better than me and much more deserving than I am. But the roadblock that you set up for yourself thinking that way, I promise you it is doing more harm than just keeping yourself humble. I don't think I'm a brilliant photographer. I don't think I'm doing anything extraordinary. I just simply point my camera at the things in my life that I respond to. Sometimes that's the people in my life or the places, whatever it may be, I'm just chasing my curiosities and things that I love with my camera. 
anyone in the world can do exactly what I'm doing. But what I try to focus on is that the way that I do what I do, that should really be all that matters. So while I might not understand why you like what I make, whether that be the YouTube videos or a photo book or just photos I share online, uh, just know that I'm extremely grateful for that. Filming this lesson with Moment, the Leica sponsorship over this summer, shipping my book all over the world, like all of these things are truly mind-blowing that I get to do as just someone from Southern Ohio. None of these things would be possible without the support from all of you guys over the years. So just know I am extremely thankful for that. That's it for today though. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. I'd love to talk about it there because again, this is something that I struggle with and that I don't have the answer for. And I feel like there are a lot of other photographers and creators out there who are gonna be able to, you know, kind of say the same thing. So I'd love to hear about it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, we'll wrap up today with a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the best all-in-one platform to build a great looking website. No matter what your experience level is, anyone can build a great looking site with Squarespace with all of their built-in features and templates to choose from. It's super easy to customize and still give it the look that you want. And if you ever need help with anything, they have 24 seven award-winning customer service. Whether you need a place for your portfolio, to run a blog, or your own online store, Squarespace has everything built in so you don't need to worry about anything else. If you want to try Squarespace out, you can do so entirely free at squarespace.com. But if you want to get signed up, you can go to squarespace.com slash Matt Day, and that'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.